Ah, retirement. The golden years. A time to relax, travel, spend more time with loved ones, and finally live the life you've always dreamed of. But as you leave behind the hustle and bustle of your working life, one question lingers. Will the money you've saved be enough? And more importantly, how do you manage it wisely to ensure a smooth, stress-free retirement? Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that can really make or break your retirement years, your retirement withdrawal strategy. Whether you're on the brink of retirement, recently retired, or just planning ahead, knowing how to strategically withdraw your hard-earned money is key to living comfortably, stress-free, and let's be honest, without having to worry about running out of funds. Now, imagine that after decades of hard work and frugal saving, it's time to reap the rewards of your labor. But hold on, how do you really begin taking that money out? How do you live a long life without worrying about taxes, inflation, or the stock market? A retirement withdrawal strategy is simply your game plan for how and when to take money out of your retirement accounts, like your 401k, IRAs, and investment portfolios. This strategy needs to strike a balance between covering your expenses, making your money last, and keeping Uncle Sam's tax bill in check. It's not just about getting to retirement, it's about living in retirement and making sure your savings support your dreams, whether that's jet-setting to new destinations, spending time with your grandkids, or finally starting that passion project. So how would one go about doing that? Indeed, there are a number of well-liked withdrawal techniques available. To be honest though, there is not a one-size-fits-all solution. As your objectives, way of life, and financial circumstances are distinct, so too should be your approach. Having said that, these are the top four methods that retirees employ to maximize their retirement withdrawals. Strategy one, the 4% rule. First up, the famous 4% rule. It's simple, it's popular, and it's a great starting point for many retirees. Let's break it down. The idea is this, you withdraw 4% of your retirement savings in the first year. In the years that follow, you adjust that amount for inflation. For example, if you retire with $1 million saved, you'd withdraw $40,000 in the first year. People love the 4% rule because it's easy to understand and it provides a steady income, which can bring a lot of peace of mind. However, while this strategy works well for many people, it does have some limitations. It assumes a 30-year retirement period and a balanced investment portfolio, often 60% in stocks and 40% in bonds. But what if you live longer? Or what if the stock market goes through a rough patch? That's where you need to be flexible. The 4% rule is a good foundation, but keep in mind that you might need to adjust your withdrawals if your portfolio performs better or worse than expected. Strategy two, the bucket strategy. Next up, we have the bucket strategy, a little more dynamic and great for people who prefer compartmentalizing their savings. It's all about separating your money into buckets based on when you'll need it. Here's how it works. You divide your savings into three main buckets, short-term, medium-term, and long-term. The first bucket is cash or short-term investments, meant to cover your expenses for the next one to three years. The second bucket holds your mid-range investments like bonds, which you won't touch for three to 10 years. The third bucket is for long-term growth, especially in stocks or other higher return investments. This strategy gives you the best of both worlds, security and growth. You have peace of mind knowing that your short-term needs are covered without having to sell investments when the market is down while your long-term money keeps growing. However, keep in mind that keeping too much in cash or low-yield investments could slow the overall growth of your portfolio. You'll need to periodically rebalance your buckets as you move through retirement. Strategy three, proportional withdrawals. Now let's talk about proportional withdrawals. This one's all about balancing tax implications. The old school advice was to take money from taxable accounts first, then from tax deferred accounts like IRAs, and lastly from Roth accounts. But that may not be the best approach anymore. With proportional withdrawals, you pull money from different account types, taxable, tax deferred, and Roth at the same time in proportion to their sizes. This way, you can spread out your tax liability over time and avoid a big tax hit when you start taking your required minimum distributions, RMDs, from your IRA at age 73. This method requires a bit more planning, but it can help you maintain a more even tax burden throughout retirement. Consulting a financial advisor or tax professional can make a big difference with this strategy. 
as they'll help you understand the optimal way to withdraw from each account based on current and future tax rates. Finally, we have the dynamic withdrawal method, often referred to as the guardrail strategy. This one's for those who want more flexibility and are okay with adjusting their withdrawals based on how their investments are performing. Think of it like driving down a road with guardrails. You start with a target withdrawal rate, maybe 4% or 5%. But if your portfolio performs well, you can increase that amount. And if the market takes a dive, you'll reduce your withdrawals to avoid depleting your savings too quickly. This method is more dynamic because it allows you to adjust based on real-time conditions. But you'll need to keep a close eye on your portfolio and be willing to cut back spending during down years. One of the biggest advantages of this strategy is that it prevents you from taking out too much during bad markets. On the flip side, you'll need to be more engaged in monitoring your investments or work closely with a financial advisor to make those adjustments. Now that we've covered the main strategies, let's quickly touch on a few other crucial factors that you'll need to consider as part of your overall retirement withdrawal plan. First, life expectancy. The average life expectancy for a 65-year-old man today is around 84 years, and for a woman, it's about 86. But what if you live longer? Planning for a retirement that could last 20, 30, or even 40 years is crucial. It's not just about budgeting for daily expenses, but also preparing for potential long-term care needs. While it is a blessing to live longer, it does come with some planning. You can make sure you don't run out of money by talking with a financial advisor about how to stretch your savings. This is particularly crucial to consider when estimating future medical expenses, which typically increase as people age. Next up, taxes. Just because you're retired doesn't mean you're off the hook when it comes to paying Uncle Sam. Many retirees still owe taxes on things like social security benefits, pension payments, and withdrawals from traditional IRAs or 401ks. If you're not careful, taxes can take a big bite out of your retirement income. The key is to plan ahead, especially when you're dealing with multiple types of accounts. Different accounts have different tax rules, and that's why creating a tax-efficient withdrawal strategy is so important. One tip? Work with a tax advisor to figure out when and how to withdraw from your accounts in a way that minimizes your tax liability. This could mean tapping into taxable accounts first or perhaps doing partial Roth IRA conversions to lower future taxes. Let's not forget Social Security and any pension benefits you may have. Choosing when to begin receiving Social Security benefits is a significant choice. You'll receive a smaller monthly benefit if you start taking it before the age of 62. For many people, you can receive 100% of your benefit if you wait until your full retirement age, which is approximately 67. Furthermore, your benefit increases if you wait until you're even older, up to the age of 70. So when's the right time to start? It depends on your situation. If you need the income early on, starting at 62 might make sense. But if you can afford to wait, delaying can significantly boost your monthly payout. Again, working with a financial advisor can help you crunch the numbers and decide what's best for you. The same goes for pensions if you're lucky enough to have one. Depending on your plan, you might have several payout options, lump sum, monthly payments, or a hybrid of both. Make sure you understand the pros and cons of each and how it fits into your overall strategy. So there you have it, guys. However, remember, planning your withdrawals is just as important as planning for retirement itself. You've worked hard to build your savings, and now it's time to make sure that money works hard for you in retirement. Whether you choose the 4% rule, the bucket strategy, proportional withdrawals, or a dynamic approach like the guardrails method, the goal is the same, to live your retirement years comfortably, confidently, and worry-free. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone you know who's nearing retirement, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips on living your best financial life. As usual, before making any significant decisions, seek the advice of a financial advisor. Till then, we'll see you later.